Welcome to the Francis Street First United Methodist Church in historic downtown St. Joseph, Missouri. This building is a combination church designed by George W. Kramer and completed in 1906. The auditorium style worship space with its impressive Hook and Hastings organ case was originally joined to an Akron planned Sunday School Assembly Hall by four large sliding pocket doors. This opening has been permanently partitioned to create a social hall in the adjoining space. This church contains a large collection of original stained and art glass windows, including two large narrative windows in the sanctuary created by the Ford Brothers Studio in Minneapolis. One window depicting Christ's presentation at the temple was done in the Tiffany style at a cost of $2,000. After receiving the commission to create this window, Ford Brothers was also awarded a contract to make the other art glass windows in the building, including a 37-panel art glass clear story for the Sunday School Assembly Hall all at a cost of $1,000. Until this time, many evangelical Protestant churches would not have considered using stained glass windows, particularly figured windows depicting saints and ancient Christian symbols. However, stained glass was enjoying renewed popularity in all types of buildings during what became known as the aesthetic movement, a highly decorative style that featured natural themes such as leaves and sunbursts represented by the skylight in the sanctuary dome. The other large narrative window in the sanctuary was created by Ford Brothers in the art glass style and features scenes from the life of Jesus, a popular theme in Protestant churches. The New Testament makes frequent references to shepherding, comparing Jesus to the good shepherd who leaves his flock to search for one lost sheep. Jesus knocking at the door is another popular theme in Protestant church windows. Note that the door has no outside latch, so it must be open from within. Faith is incumbent upon us to respond. The center panel depicts Jesus at the home of sisters Mary and Martha, where he was a frequent guest of them and their brother Lazarus. During one visit, Jesus settled an argument between the sisters over one who worked and one who didn't. Martha, who held the unusual position as head of the household, is shown as the worker holding the basket, while Mary reclines at Jesus' feet. These scenes are painted on sections of glass and then fired to seal the hues. At their brightest points, Jesus' white robes are almost clear glass. The border of the central scene incorporates a fleur-de-lis, a popular decorative motif of the aesthetic movement, which is carried over into the scroll borders of the side panels. The outside panels feature long rectangular pieces of glass surrounding shields containing an open Bible and the cross and crown, symbolizing victory over death. The upper lancets incorporate a torch motif, while the rose section features a dove bearing an olive branch within a quatrefoil, surrounded by a scrolled pattern. A similar window above the choir loft features an Easter lily within a quatrefoil. During a five-year project completed in 2004, these windows were completely rebuilt. A later addition to the church's collection of art glass windows is one given in 1942 in memory of longtime choir member and church leader Perry Slade, which is titled Let the Lower Lights Be Burning, which was his favorite hymn. We invite you to come see our beautiful windows and worship on Sunday at 8.45 and 10.45 a.m. at the Francis Street First United Methodist Church, located at 12th and Francis Streets across from City Hall in downtown St. Joseph, Missouri.